home to kid crew. What's happening? The toilet's going wackity, oh my gosh. Okay, let me, let me just wash my hands first. Ah! I need to call the kid crew plumber. Hi, y'all. I need plumbing help. Everything's gone wackadoo. What? The kid crew plumber will rush to the rescue. First, he needs his tools. And a forklift? He's grabbing a toilet? Oh, probably just in case he can't fix the broken one. Now bring it over to the trailer. And load it on. He's all ready to go. But wait, why does he have an RC car? I guess we'll just have to find out. This is a heavy load for the truck. There's the house in the distance. He made it. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. I'm soaking wet. Come on in. Oh my gosh, it's a mess in here. Quick, reach under the sink for the shutoff valve. Turn the valve to stop the water. Phew, that's better. Now he'll see if he can fix the sink. Grab the tool bag. And a screwdriver. Oh, a knob just needed to be tightened. Now back to this crazy toilet. Let me go and get my pencil. He'll start with trying to clear anything clogging it. The toilet's still going wackadoo. And it looks pretty broken. Hey, I think you just need a new toilet. Okay. Out with the old. And in with the new. Here's your new one. Awesome. Oh my gosh, I forgot a wax swing. Hey parents, how often do you have to go back to the store when you're doing a project? He's sending his RC car to pick up a part. Oh no, there's a ton of mud on the path. Phew! The RC got right through it. Dad is working at the plumbing store. Hello? Oh, you need a wax ring? Yeah, I'll load it on your RC. Here it comes. Dad loads it up, and off it goes. I think I need one of those for my errands. Does it go to the grocery store too? Wow, that RC is really convenient. Yes, it is. The wax ring will seal the toilet to the floor. Put it down. Then set the new toilet on top. Perfect. The toilet's all installed, but now we need to test it. Um, what's that? It's a special toilet tester. P.U. <laughs> Throw it in the toilet and flush. There it goes. It worked. While you do that, I'm going to do a little laundry. Put in the soap and select the cycle. Done. What? There's no way this is going to fit me. This totally shrunk. You can't wear this. you got to flow this out. Do you think there's something wrong with my washing machine? Yeah. Well, you're a plumber. Could you help me fix it? I think I just need to hit it with a hammer. A hammer? That can't be right. That's going to break my washing machine. Hey, I'm pretty sure it will fix it. Okay. That was easy. Okay, thank you so much. I've got a lot of cleanup to do, don't I? Now he's packing up his tools. And he's off for another adventure. Now here's how you can play along at home. We made a toy road and city, but there's gonna be some plumbing problems. And here comes the toy truck. But wait, there's a problem with the road. There's water gushing from below. It's a water main break. It's washing the road away. This is bad. Oh no! I can't stop! He drove right into the water. And now he's stuck. Help! Help! Luckily, there's a lookout in the tower. Someone is stuck in the flooded road. Okay, mate. We're on it. The police are responding to secure the scene. Put up barricades so more drivers don't crash. Now here comes a crane to rescue the truck. Put down the stabilizers. Raise the boom. And extend it. Now drop the hook. And crank the handle to pull up the truck. Wow, that's a heavy load. Swing it out of the way. Look at that hole in the pipe. We'll need some heavy equipment. First put down some cones. Then insert the water valve key and shut off the water. Oh good, the flow has stopped. 
Now here comes the construction equipment. He's got a bulldozer and an excavator. Pull up and unload the excavator. I love a good digging project. First, he needs to dig up the broken section of pipe. The bucket on the excavator makes short work of the wet roadway. Let's bring in the crane. He's hooking the broken pipe. And it lifts right out. Now bring in the new one. And lower it back down. That looks great. Let's pave it over. Okay, boys, let's get to paving. Back the bulldozer off the trailer and get ready to push. Wow, the bulldozer pushes the sand back in the trench with ease. The tracks give it a lot of traction. Now back drag it smooth. It looks great. Now let's learn how it works. This is how soldering copper pipe works. Solder is this silver stuff that glues copper pipes together. First, we need to sand the end of the pipe to clean it. Then brush flux paste on to where the joint will be. Next, we assemble the joint. Heat the pipe with the torch. The solder will melt and flow towards the heat. It's done. Now clean it with a wet rag. Whoa. Oh my gosh, you caught a toilet. It's a big one. Reel it in. <gasps> They did this for a long time. I just love how perfect that water main break is. Put your finger in the pipe. Put my finger in. Ah, it's wet in there. I like that your plunger is kid crew orange. I know, isn't that good? Did you paint that special? Nope, Home Depot cheapest one. Watch this. Uh-huh. a good way to open a door. Sometimes we need to take a few takes. Oh, mittens. It smells like Play-Doh. You know, is a wax ring really Play-Doh? No. No, okay, yeah, I didn't think so. Well, I put on closed-toed shoes because I'm going to be soldering. I don't want the hot solder to go <laughs> you're not the exactly closed. You're not exactly closed-toed at this point. Well, I would say they're way more open-toed. <laughs> Oh, thank you, babe. Oh, you're such a good boy. Do you think that's safer if I wear boots? I think so too. Always looking out for daddy. Here's a quick update from the last episode and a consumer tip. When you spend $150 on trees and don't want to spend $50 more on fencing, just buy the fence. Cause then you'll end up buying another $150 worth of trees and you'll upgrade to the $100 fence because now you take it personally with the deer. Wait, what are you doing? <laughs> Mittens, what do you think? Are you unimpressed? I think so. Thank you for watching Kid Crew. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> you like the skirty ones, don't you?